now we'll talk about next question so next question is question number 9 now so let me read the question question number 9th is give example to show that friction is both a friend and a foe okay so here children we have to uh, talk about the advantages and disadvantages of the friction so i'll write the question number first okay when we are saying that friction is advantages for us that means it is friend for us isn't it so uh, why is it important children what are the activities which are possible only due to friction see friction is really very very important for us isn't it why is it important children because we are able to walk only because of the friction okay if uh, a zero or a friction less area would be created we won't be able to walk on that hmm? we won't be able to walk on that and that is a reason that we uh, say that friction is a necessary evil that means in few cases it can be a little bit disadvantages for us but then still the advantages are more okay so we can walk due to friction well walking what we are doing actually children well walking we are pushing the ground towards backward and that is the reason we are moving forward isn't it so because of friction we can walk we can run we can uh, ride our vehicle uh, ride our cycles okay now uh, then uh, when i say you can ride your bicycle due to friction then uh, not only bicycle you know all the vehicles the movement of the vehicles uh, is possible only due to the presence of the friction okay without friction vehicles cannot move okay the moving play, the moving things won't stop okay so uh, take other examples also friction uh, due to friction only first time the whenever whosoever had uh, invented fire okay what was done in earlier days the people like you know ancestors what they used to do they used to rub two rough stone they, they they used to rub stones opposite to each other with a great force and due to rubbing of two surfaces of the two different um, stones friction was being created and due to friction we all know due to friction heat is created isn't it due to heat that spark used to come out and then fire was discovered okay so uh, now also when we use matchstick how matchstick uh, you know catches fire because the surface okay the surface of the box two surfaces of the box are rough okay and chemicals are there inside that sulfur is there so when the that matchstick is you know rubbed uh, with a force on that rough surface so what happens the chemical get converted we have read this thing in one of the chapter okay so uh, we have discussed this thing how matchsticks why the matchstick get catch fire and what happens we have done this this isn't it so to brief again to just it out what i'll say that due to friction only when the like when the stick is being rubbed the matchstick is being rubbed on the box the, on the sides so due to friction only heat is produced when heat is produced that chemical catches fire and we can use matchsticks isn't it so what is possible walking running jumping all these things are possible because of what friction we can move our vehicles due to friction okay then even the fire even now the matchstick uh, can be used okay the fire we can uh, have fire only because of the friction so all these are advantages of the friction now when i'm writing on the blackboard okay i'm able to write because of the friction because the the roughness is there okay between the two surface if i talk like i'm writing over here so it's not very smooth the surface are rough and so i'm able to write okay why i won't be able to write or you won't be able to write on the glass because the smoothness is there the friction is less okay we won't be able to write with the help of pencil on the glass because the smoothness is there friction is not there so we are able to write because of what we are able to write because of friction because of friction what is happening when we use our pens the ink get transferred to the paper isn't it so all these are advantages of the friction then what are the disadvantages children wear and tear of machines isn't it 
due to friction only you might have heard the noise uh, which comes sometimes maybe from the fan maybe you know from the vehicles why all this thing uh, is come uh, it comes you know you know while closing the door also sometimes that khad khad noise comes and then what we do we oil the door we oil the no knobs so that friction can reduce can be reduced and then if the friction get reduced then that noise uh, you know that uh, that typical noise that also get stopped okay so what are the disadvantages very well, little disadvantages are there that the uh, due to friction wear and tear takes place in the machines due to friction our uh, the thing shoes or the sandals gets you know broken uh, or they get very thinner or rubbed off okay, okay then we need to uh, after certain time we need to change the tires okay of the cars the trucks why because that when the due to uh, like uh, friction wear and tear takes place a tire get rubbed off okay so these are all at disadvantages of uh, friction but even you all can understand the, that disadvantages are very few isn't it disadvantages are very few but advantages are more so even you know one question can be asked in a different way see it can be asked as write the uh, advantages and disadvantages of the friction then it can be told as why friction is known as necessary evil for us that is the reason why it is known as necessary evil for us because again you will write how you will write you will write all the advantages but only few disadvantages even though you will start from disadvantages ki even though wear and tear takes place due to friction okay the tires get uh, spoiled due to friction the shoes get torn off torn off you know because of the friction but still it is beneficial for us because we are able to walk due to friction we are able to have fire due to friction we are able to ride due to friction so all these things we are able to move uh, uh, ride our uh, cycles and uh, drive our uh, vehicles only because of the friction so in spite of having two three disadvantages also we have plenty of advantages and that is the reason that why friction is called as a necessary evil okay so this question can be asked in different way you have to change your language according to the question which is being asked so now here i'm writing uh, i'm making the i'm i'm clear this thing the clearing this line that why it is uh, some like you know we have to write some uh, points where it proves that friction is uh, our friend and again we have to write few points which can also prove that friction is also sometimes for for us that means it is an enemy for us okay so i will write in the form of advantages and disadvantages that to ensure so advantages okay so advantages what are the advantages student due to friction between our legs our legs and ground we can walk isn't it we can walk only because of the friction between our feet and our and the ground okay while walking what we do children actually while walking we push the ground backwards we push the ground backwards and thus we move ahead okay in case if friction is not there then what will happen you know we will keep on sliding on one uh, place only we'll just keep on pushing the ground but we won't be able to push because friction is not there and we won't be able to walk okay so now what is the second point children second point is like because i will just write the heading we can write 
is writing. So, we can write due to friction, I am not elaborating it. Why we can write due to friction? Because of friction only it has become possible to write. Why? Because when we write then what happened? The ink get transferred into the pen. Here also why we are able to write? Because the surface is not very smooth, isn't it? Sometimes you know board gets spoiled. If you write the board does not take it, we are not able to write on the blackboard, sometimes on some area, okay. Or just if someone you know sometimes what happens that children they apply some dirty hand, maybe sometimes just for the uh, creating nuisance you know they put the oil on the board and just putting after putting oil on the board just try to write, do not do that huh? I am telling you. So, uh, if the sp this place and the oil is applied on the board then you would not be able to write, why? Because that part has become more smooth and so we cannot write. So, due to friction what is possible children? Due to friction walking has become possible, walking is possible and due to friction only writing is possible. Now, what can be the third point children? Okay. Now, first one is what we are talking about walking due to uh, friction we are able to walk, due to friction we are able to write, due to friction vehicles can be moved, vehicles run on the road due to friction. Okay, fire. Again, I will not elaborate this answer also because this answer is also explained to you during solving uh, question uh, during the explanation of this lesson, isn't it? So, do you, what are the advantages of uh, friction? We can walk, we can uh, ride our bicycles, we can uh, run our vehicles, okay. Then we can ride, we can have, we have, we can, you know, we can use metrics only because of the friction. So, all these are the advantages of friction. Now, what is the disadvantage of friction? Okay, what are the disadvantages? Okay, what are the disadvantages of the friction? Very few disadvantages are there, wear and tear of the machines, okay, wear and tear of the machines, shoes, okay, tires, only one point I can just it out. Isn't it? Due to friction, what is happening? The shoes get spoiled, the, the, the parts of the machine which are coming in contact with each other for longer time, okay, they get spoiled. So, what has to be done? It has to be oiled, okay. Again, after oiling, the things become uh, proper, they start working, you know. When the parts of the machine, they start making noise, when the parts of machine, they get wear and, wear and tear. So, what, uh, what has to be done? Oiling has to be done, isn't it? So, uh, very few disadvantages are there children, but the advantages have got big list. So, this was our uh, ninth question. In this question it was asked that please uh, that we were supposed to actually mention what few advantages and disadvantages of the friction. So, what are the advantages of friction children? We can write because of the friction, we can walk because of the friction, we can uh, use mess sticks because of the friction, okay, vehicles can be used because of the friction, okay. And what are the uh, disadvantages, very few disadvantages, wear and tear takes place in the machines, the shoes get spoiled, okay, and even the tires, uh, you know, get, they get torn off. So, these small disadvantages are there and so even we can say that friction is an essential evil, okay. So, this was our question number 9, now we will talk about next question. Okay, now we will talk about next question children, this is the last question. Question number 10, explain why objects moving in fluids, fluids uh, must have special shapes. I will repeat the question, explain why objects moving in fluids must have special shapes. See children, first of all what is the meaning of fluids? Fluids means liquid and gases, okay. So, fluids means what? Liquid and gases. See actually uh, liquids and gases also provide friction, okay. 
when some solid object moves in liquid or moves in uh, in the atmosphere again friction is being produced but you know this friction is uh, see uh, the solid solids provide greatest friction then uh, liquids provide uh, friction which is more than gas but lesser than the solids and in gases we can say that uh, one will experience the least uh, friction in the gases ok. So, our question is what is our question children that explain why objects moving in fluids must have spatial shapes. See friction also depends upon the shape of the object ok, friction also depends upon the shape of the sub uh, what shape of the substance. Now, a particular shape uh, may be streamlined ok, uh, you see naturally the shape of the uh, you know shark, the fishes and the birds it will be always streamlined. So, what happens with the streamlined shape it cut the force of the air and the water and can move properly. If we talk about artificial then uh, see the shape of the ships aeroplanes is not it. So, actually you know the fluids that means the gases and the liquids they also provide they also uh, exert uh, like they also when the solid body moves in air when the solid body moves in water all they also exert fluids also exert friction ok. Now, to avoid this friction to reduce the friction it is very very essential to, fr uh, to frame the solids into a particular shape ok. A particular shape if the body is of a particular shape then this resist this uh, uh, friction can be little bit reduced ok. So, that is the reason that why spatial shape has been given uh, to the bodies which move uh, through water or through um, air ok. So, first of all what is the meaning of fluid children? Liquids and gases are known as fluids. Now, the friction uh, exerted by the fluids are no, is known as what children? It is known as drag force. Okay. Now, to overcome this drag force ok, to overcome this drag force objects are being given different shape, shapes also affect the friction ok. So, if the body is streamlined it becomes easy for that body to cut the drag force ok and that is the reason why spatial shapes has to be given to the bodies. So, now we will write the answer. So, first of all uh, which number is this? This is the last question. So, what do you mean by fluids? This I will not write. The meaning of fluids is what? Liquids and gases, ok. So, when a solid body, when a solid body moves in fluids. Now, what is the meaning of fluids children? Liquids or gases or both this comes in the category of fluids. So, when a solid body moves in fluids ok the fluids exert force frictional force. Okay, they exert frictional force and this is called as drag force ok. Drag force can be reduced by giving some spatial shapes to the body ok. What was the question here? For example, shape of ship and
and aeroplanes helps them help them to overcome the drag force okay so what is the when a solid body moves in fluids the fluids exert exerts frictional force and this is called as drag force now drag force can be reduced by giving some special shapes to the body for example shapes of ships and aeroplanes help them to overcome the drag force so what is all this about see children liquids and gases are known as fluids okay liquids and gases also uh, exert force frictional force okay when the if the solid body moves through the liquid that means ship moving in the water or the solid moving in the air that means aeroplanes moving in the air so when this body moves in the fluids they have to overcome the drag force if they have to run smoothly now what is the meaning of drag force the force which is exerted by the fluids okay that frictional force which is exerted by the fluids is known as drag force and uh, how to overcome this drag force or how this uh, drag force can be reduced by giving special shapes to the body the drag force can be minimized now which are the shape which has to be given streamlined body okay streamlined body always reduces or helps the body to reduce the drag force okay so whole gist of this answer is what children what was the question how can the drag force uh, what was the question how drag force can be reduced okay so what is fluids liquids and gases are known as fluids they also when the body moves any body solid body when it moves in the water and in the air the solid body again has to face frictional force the but the force exerted by the fluids are known as is known as drag force okay now how drag force can be reduced by giving special shapes to the solid body the drag force can be reduced now what are that special uh, shapes streamline streamline is a special shape shape if it is given to the particular solid body may be ship or aeroplane then it becomes very easy for the bodies to cut the pressure of the fluids okay so this was about the question number 10th and this was the last question of ncert book now we will be talking about about some extra questions uh, okay the reason behind solving some extra question is same which i always uh, tell you i always tell you that it increase the confidence it gives a wider aspect towards the chapter okay many things become you know like when the questions are being thrown then it really becomes if you solve all the questions then what happens you can understand that the question can come in which various forms okay and then you automatically develop confidence over the chapter so this was all about the ncert questions now we'll talk about some other questions so please note this down so that we can start with some other questions so now we will talk about some other questions children so now the first question is define frictional force okay so first question is define frictional force now what is frictional force children the force which is you know created between the two surfaces when one body is moving the force which is being created between the two surfaces okay now what is friction frictional force is a force which always opposes the motion how can we write children how can we define frictional force first of all i write the heading define frictional force i won't be writing define but frictional force okay so what is frictional force children the force which always opposes the motion okay and where it is created the frictional force is created between the two surfaces and it always opposes the what it always opposes the motion okay okay 
okay so how can we define frictional force it is the force which gets developed between the two surfaces ok. So, it is the force which gets developed between the two surfaces and it always opposes the motion of the body ok. So, how we have defined frictional force student frictional force it is the force which gets develop, developed between the two surfaces and it always opposes the motion of the body over the surface over the surface ok. So, in by while solving question answers also I have again explained that what is frictional force student frictional force is a force which always oppose the motion. If we go in this way frictional force will try to pull us back ok. If we go in that way then frictional force will try to move in this position that means it always stops the tries to stop the motion of the body it always opposes the motion of the body ok. So, this was all about what is a frictional force or defined frictional force. So, what is frictional force children? Frictional force is a force which opposes the motion frictional force always opposes the motion ok. Now, come to the next question children. Now, second question is explain how friction originates ok. Just let me draw the line. Now, second question is explain how friction originates. So, children we have discussed this how does friction originate? Friction always originates due to the roughness of the surface. Hmm? How friction is originated children how friction originates? Friction originates due to the roughness of the uh, of the surface ok. No surface no solid surface is uh, totally smooth ok. Always these take the example of any substance the surface is not smooth ok. And all surfaces has got hills and valleys and when two surfaces comes in contact with each other this hills and valleys form a strong interlocking ok. Now, this is the reason why friction is created uh, friction is created due to the roughness of the surfaces ok. Why friction is created? Friction is created due to the roughness of the body. So, question second is friction originates due to roughness of the surface ok. So, friction originates due to roughness of the surface the hills and valleys present on the and valleys present on the surfaces formed forms a strong interlocking ok and no surface 
is totally smooth okay more roughness give rise to more friction okay where is smoothness decreases the friction okay so let's read this friction originates due to roughness of the surface the hills and valleys present on these surfaces forms a strong interlocking no surface is totally smooth more roughness give rise to more friction whereas smoothness decreases the friction so children what was asked in the question that how okay that how friction originates so friction originates due to the roughness of the substance okay you talk about any surface you talk about any substance they won't be totally smooth okay on the surface of every object there will be certain uh, you know the higher point and the lower point that means the hills and the valleys which we have discussed in the chapter now one hills and valley this the hills and valley which is present on surface one okay will be interlocked with the with the surface of what substance two okay this two will get interlocked and then it becomes difficult to come out of this friction okay when this friction will be uh, reduced when the force which is being applied okay to push the substance will be more than the frictional force that means that interlocking has to be broken okay take the example of the uh, shoe polish brush okay take the example of the shoe polish brush and try to move your uh, car you know toy car on that brush can you be able to move your toy car on that brush you won't be able to move because the surface is not at all smooth isn't it okay so that surface is not smooth and so you won't be able to move your toy car but when you move your toy car on the marble surface you will be able to move it because the surface is very very smooth okay so how does uh, friction originates and why friction originates children friction always originates due to the roughness of the substance okay and what happens when the substance is rough if the substance is rough then uh, more friction will be uh, you know will be uh, created and if the surface is smooth then less friction will be created but there is no such thing uh, no substance which is totally smooth okay every substance will have will exert little uh, more or less frictional force isn't it so hope this one is understood by you and now we'll talk about the next question okay so it will be question number 3 but then again i have to uh, remove all these answers from over here so that we can move to the question number 3 okay so please note so after that we'll be discussing next question